Thomas Hobbes was born in Westport, England on April 5, 1588. When he was young, his father disappeared and him and his siblings were put under the care of their uncle. Hobbes' uncle was a tradesman and he provided education for him. At the age of 14, Hobbes went to Medellin Hall in Oxford to study. During the year 1608, he left Oxford and became a private tutor for a young man named William Cavendish. Hobbes then traveled with William in 1610 to France, Italy, and Germany. On his journey, he also met other scholars, such as Francis Bacon and Ben Johnson. During the year 1631, Hobbes' philosophy began to take place, and during the year 1640, he published his first work of political philosophy, The Elements of Law, Natural, and Politics. Thomas Hobbes believed that an absolute monarchy was the strongest government. He believed that it imposed order and compelled obedience. He also said that it was the only one with enough power to control people in times of chaos. The only way to erect such a common power is to confer all their power and strength upon one man, Thomas Hobbes, Leviathan. This quote is showing how Hobbes thought it was best to give one person, such as a king or a queen, unlimited power to rule and do as they please. Thomas Hobbes believed that human nature was nasty, brutish, and short. The fear of a violent death in human nature was the principle and driving motor for people. People would use this fear to surrender natural rights and submit to a social contract or absolute authority of a sovereign. Thomas Hobbes said, Nature hath men men so equally in facilities of body and mind as that, through there, we find one man sometimes manifestly stronger in body or of quicker mind than another. The sovereign, or ruler, would be someone who was stronger in mind and body. The power of that sovereign came from the people, and the divine power of the sovereign was unquestionable. The laws are of no power to protect the people without a sword in the hands of a man or men to cause these laws to be put in execution. Thomas Hobbes, Leviathan. This quote is saying that laws are useless unless they can be enforced. Hobbes thought basic laws should be in place, such as no murder or stealing, or other criminal acts, such as those. Hobbes' view of natural rights was simple. Men should be limited to only simple things, such as life and property. During the year 1642 to 1651, Thomas Hobbes wrote the Leviathan and stated, By liberty is understood, according to the proper signification of the word, the absence of external impediments, which impediments may oft take away part of a man's power to do what he would, but cannot hinder him from using the power left him according as his judgment and reason shall dictate him. Hobbes decided that a social contract was needed for men to evolve. A social contract is when a person enters a society, but in return also gives up their physical freedom. Hobbes believed that everyone should become part of the social contract except sovereign authority, which is basically rulers or lawmakers. Hobbes believed that those under the social contract should obey the people of sovereign authority. Thomas Hobbes is not a very religious man. There is no set of religious beliefs for Hobbes, although I believe that Hobbes does not favor Christianity because the Christian religious duties directly clash with his views of political theory. One way it clashes is that the Christians must not be completely obedient to their government, and in his book, The Levithran, he says that they must. Thank you.